Hey everybody, my name is Randy Asenchak. I'm the editor of ElderGeek.com and also the creator of a video series called 25 Games for My Son, where I take uh, 25 video games um, and I tell a story that's basically associated with that game and I, and I tie it to an event that happened in my life at the time. And the series itself, a lot of people have been watching it, has not actually gotten very far. Um, I'm probably only on the third or fourth game at the time at the moment, and it's taken me two years to get this far. Um, but uh, the next episode that I'm doing is going to be for The Legend of Zelda Link to the pa or I'm sorry, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And uh, one other game, but uh, I'm going to save that for when the episode comes out. And uh, I wanted to do this, this preview show before this launched because... A lot of work actually goes into the into these episodes, and it's not just me. And I'm not saying like, oh, I work so hard on this because, you know, the script takes forever and the drawing takes forever. But it can't get done without the help of other people. And so I wanted to bring on some people that actually helped me get this done. Um, not in a way to say thanks, or not just a way to say thanks to them, but also to kind of call attention to the awesome things that they do. Um, so with me, I have Trevor Faulkner, who is directly below me. Trevor, say hey. Hey, this is Trevor. Uh, Trevor is actually an editor for elder geek or he's been editing with elder geek for a while he ran a show called uh two button panic yep i almost two got the name panic. wrong <laughs> yep uh but but he also writes books on the side so trevor for you know since the series kind of has launched he's been editing all of my scripts and everything so he's not only an amazing writer but he's also an amazing editor so i'm i'm super lucky to have him help out so um when you click on his head or at least i'll have a link below it'll be to describe all of the wonderful things that he has worked on. Um, mm -hmm. To the right of Trevor um, is going to be a, a screenshot, or, or at least a, a promo shot, of Kristen. Uh, Kristen Nagus, who... Um, did I say that last name properly, by the way? Close enough, Nagus. It's Nagus? Oh yep. my gosh, I've been saying it wrong for like months oh. now. <laughs> uh, Kristen's a professional woodwind player. You want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> um... <laughs> She also, you you play professionally, mostly as oboe, right? Yes. Um, I mean, technically, I'm an oboist English horn player, um, but I play several other woodwinds just because they're fun. Oboist and English horn? Yeah. They're not the, the English, same thing, right? They're totally different, right? The English horn, uh, you can think of it as an alto oboe. It's just a larger version of the oboe with a slightly deeper sound to it. Wow. You know what I, I what I thought was an English horn is totally wrong. I thought the English horn was like the one that actually curled twice. The French horn. That's a French horn. Yes. <laughs> it retreats twice. <laughs> and the, the English horn is not English, so there you go. I didn't know that. I, I learned something new today, but that's really cool. But you do, who do you perform for? You you also perform professionally. Um, I, yes. I don't want to say every day of the week, but. Ah, uh, close enough. Um, yeah, I'm just a professional freelancer. I play with about a dozen local symphonies around the state of Florida. Uh, some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. Um, church gigs, holiday programs, uh, traveling shows, you name it. You've also you've also performed with some pretty big names too in the past, haven't you? Um, yeah, I guess the the traveling shows count for that. In the last couple of years, I've played with Johnny Mathis, Idina Menzel, uh, the band Kansas. That's um, awesome. Pretty much anyone who comes through. <laughs> did, you play, did you really play with Kansas? Yeah. No and, way. Uh, yeah, Rock Symphony concert. That's awesome. That Kansas actually appears in this episode of Twenty Five Games in a really strange <laughs> really? way. Really? Yeah, I swear <laughs> to God. So it, it's gonna oh, be those something. concerts are a ton of fun. The audience loves it. That is really cool. I didn't know that. And then you also you just got done doing like a I don't want to say like a world tour like but but you did you toured Europe and everything. <laughs> yeah, I just came back from a two week tour of Italy and Switzerland with a small chamber ensemble, and we played a couple of classical concerts over there. That's cool. I need to play. I need to pick up an instrument, but I guess I'm like way too old to even start that right now. <laughs> Not at all. I'll send you get a penny out whistle. of here. I'll, you'll be hearing like my arthritic like wrist crack, and I'll be like, ah, I'm too old to do this. <laughs> anyway, I was as I was making violin motions. Um, Patty Rudisil <laughs> is also here with me. She is a professional violin violinist, violiner. That's the right way to say it. She's a professional mm -hmm. violiner, and um, she plays out of uh, Tennessee, right? Yes, Nashville. Okay. Nashville. Okay, yeah. so go ahead and tell us a little yeah. bit about yourself. Um, you you play with the Nashville Orchestra? Well, I'm, I'm also a freelancer like Kristen, so a lot of the same stuff, like she was saying, you know, church gigs, traveling shows, 
uh, orchestra stuff. You know, I play with a bunch of regional orchestras. Um, but there's also a lot of recording work in Nashville, so I get to do stuff like that, like playing for mostly country or Christian albums um, and also video game soundtracks. We get to do a lot of that, which is really fun. That so, is fun. What? Uh, what I, yeah. I know I've seen videos of this before, but what games have you been heard on? Um... I, I swear I saw a video that you sent me before, like it was like a making of some game, and there were like some shots of you playing. I wonder. Well, the the most recent one was uh, Lightning Returns. We did some stuff for that. Oh, really? Um, yeah, we also did The Last of Us, uh, Unfinished oh, wow. One. I think that's what it was. I think uh, it was The Last of Us recording footage or something. Yeah. Um, basically, the most recent of Uncharted, Resistance, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, I'm starting to lose track. Oh, Aliens, Colonial Marines. We did that, too. So. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> the music was great. I mean, that's yes. the most fun one we've recorded. You know, I'd go as far to say it was the best. Too well. I, like, I actually said that in the review, and I didn't even know you played it on that back then. But, like, the music yeah. and the sound effects were, like, the only redeeming quality out of that entire game. <laughs> it was really fun, that one. Yeah. Cool. Oh. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, just to kind of tie this in, because I don't think I even mentioned this, but um, there was some issues a little while ago when YouTube was doing that massive sweep of like claiming everything of, of you know, for people who, who didn't rightfully own stuff and for people who did rightfully own stuff. Um, one of my episodes of 25 Games was actually nabbed by Nintendo. Um, and I thought to myself, boy, that's um, unfortunate. You know, I mean, legally it's their music, so I didn't want to, you know... I'm not going to like fight it or anything like that. But then I thought to myself, how can we have Nintendo happy with this and still be able to do this series and still have it be good and not, not all of our, my efforts go right into Nintendo's hands. So that's where I uh, called on Patty and Kristen and they agreed to um, arrange some tracks for the, for the actual video so when you see the video when it comes out hopefully in the very near future um it's going to be the music that you're going to be hearing is going to be performed by the two of them um patty did all the violin did you also do piano for it i yeah piano and the viola also and the viola too wow that's yeah. awesome I, I i've only heard a couple of like demo tracks and they they literally they made like the hair on my arm stand up, which is great. <laughs> I think people are going to be really psyched when they hear this. And then cool. Kristen did, I, on the few tracks that she said, there was English horn, there was oboe, and then I heard an ocarina. Of course. And then something else. There was something else <laughs> you played on there too, right? Um, A couple various like recorders. Okay. And then you mixed everything too. Yes. Um, I did the sampling and mixing. That's awesome. I couldn't. If I looked at a screen like that, I'd be like, hmm, done. <laughs> what do you think I do? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever different. you do, it sounds great. <laughs> um, and then, you know, and also to kind of share it with everybody when we're done, we're, we're going to have the album for sale on Louder. And uh, all the proceeds go to the two of them. I'm not going to touch a dime of it. So if you like the music, which you will like the music, I'm telling you, you'll like the music. <laughs> it's going to be performed by the two of them, and then you'll be able to actually play it and hear it from louder without, you know, me yammering over top of it about some pitiful story about me failing at meeting <sighs> women or something. <laughs> oh. But that's kind of how the, that's how, kind of how the story goes. I, I mean, I guess this is kind of a, a preview of the actual, of the thing. The story, I'm not going to ruin it for the people who, who want to save it, but the story is basically... Um, about Zelda um, Ocarina of Time and basically like my, my first real girlfriend that I had and uh, and an event that kind of happened when uh, she came over for Christmas I think that year which was when, when I got Zelda that year I was, I was in college at the time and um, I, of course I didn't have any money to actually buy the game new so there was like all these people that were running around with like the gold cartridge of it which looked awesome and it still looks awesome but when I, I had asked my parents I was like hey can I can I get Zelda for Christmas? I'm your 19 year old son that still wants video games for Christmas. <laughs> um, they they gave me the the gray cartridge, and part of me was like, oh, but still I got to play it, you know, and I and I <laughs> still have it. But that's that's the basis of of you know where the story kind of came from. Um, 
Yeah. Trevor, what about you, man? What was the first time you played Ocarina? Or o How do you say it? Is it Ocarina or Ocarina? I, I wish I knew Ocarina. for sure. <laughs> What's that? I wish I knew for sure. I don't. I've heard Ocarina. it both ways. Really? And you own like 30 of the damn things. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of those things where there's no standard. You know, people just... It's crowdsourced. Right? I mean... It's a very, yeah. very old <laughs> instrument. I don't yeah. think anyone knows. I tried to explain to my speech. wife what an ocarina was, and she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, it looks kind of like a football, but you stick it in your mouth, and there's food rolls <laughs> on it. Yeah, you buy it at Renaissance fairs. <laughs> yeah, and you buy it at Renaissance <laughs> fairs. <laughs> but you paint it. It does. It's not football yeah. colored, but I'm sure there probably are football. You could, yeah. You can make a football ocarina. I'm sure if there's a If you really market. wanted one. Yeah, it's like a football with like a fish fin on the side of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I played Ocarina really late in comparison to most people I knew. And the reason was uh, I never – it was weird because I had the, the Nintendo Entertainment System. I had the Super Nintendo. And then for some reason completely skipped the N64. Really? Uh, so you went yeah. like from SNES to what, like GameCube? Uh, no, I went SNES to the original PlayStation. Oh, that was a pretty with, popular move to do with back then. Gex and or, no, it was just Gex back then and uh, Wipeout were the only two games. Oh, and Street Fighter the movie The Game were the only three games I had. <laughs> that game was horrible. <laughs> oh, all those games weren't that great. Uh, so even though I had that and those games, um, I found myself going to my cousin's house all the time because uh, that's where I played fun games. Uh, <laughs> you had your games, but he had the fun I had, ones. Yeah, I, me and my brother shared the, the the PlayStation, and he was the one who wanted it and stuff like that, and picked everything out. So I didn't really get. I wanted the N sixty four. I didn't get it, uh, but I always used to go to my cousin's house, um, and he was he was old enough that he didn't really want anything to do with me. So I would just plop in front of the N sixty four, and I for from the time that game came out until Wind Waker came out. And when Wind Waker came out, I got the Zelda promotional disc, um, and that's where I played the full game. But until that time, I only ever played until you beat Jabu Jabu's Belly. Oh and you wow! Get the you last song. You were like oh. over your cousin's house for a while. I thought you were gonna say, oh, yeah. say like to the end of the like, Deku Tree or something. Eight in the morning until my parents were done and wanted to, had to take me back if I couldn't stay the night. But I always would play to Jabu Jabu's Belly. Uh, I'd become an adult. I'd walk out into the main hub, see the re-deads, turn off the console, and I was done with the game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, you were done with the game, you turn it off, go home, and then when you went back, like, your cousin would, like, maliciously delete right. your file. Oh, no. And I you would, would only need that one it. file, but yours would be gone anyway. Because I, the, for some reason, the, like, seeing the town, like, and I was, I was pretty young, I guess, but, uh, seeing the town and, like, it's, it's, destroyed state with like the zombies walking around and stuff like that i never wanted to go on after that I, it was like a, a touch of like sort of like weird fear because at the time this was the most beautiful realistic thing that had ever existed and i remember like being terrified of walking around outside of uh hyrule castle at night because the the skeletons would come out and stuff yeah. like that so i'd always get there and then the next week i would delete the save file and i would start over again and i got really good at that that uh that hustle to, to finish the young, young leg section. And then, yeah, Wind Waker came out and then prior to Wind Waker coming out, I beat the entire game, uh, in my, like in high school or whatever it was. I don't know when Wind Waker came out, but, but yeah, that I mean, that's, deal. When that was Wind Waker came out. It came out with that disc with like, yeah, had... the two, uh, master quest and, uh, the original, I never played, I tried playing master quest and I found it annoying. <laughs> but the first time I actually beat the game was was then. Um, and I loved Zelda. Like, I was a huge Zelda fan. Uh, Link's Awakening was my absolute favorite, which is similar in situation. Because I spent the first three years I had that game only ever getting to the part where you have to dump the powder on the raccoon's nose to get through the maze forest. Yeah. And I never figured it out. Because I, I didn't read the text. Because I was a... As a writer, I was a stupid little kid. <laughs> I was setting up my writing career by not reading uh, instructions or listening to people. So I'd always get there and you would go, it was a lost woods. So you'd go and you know, you'd end up at the back at the beginning of the forest. And then I let my babysitter play with my, uh, my game boy, my fatty game boy. Mm -hmm. And she figured it out and I was like, wait, what did you do? Cause I've had this game for two years and I just thought this is where it ended. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, for the first but... time in her entire career working at your house, you were suddenly interested in what she was doing. You're like, hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Explain to me what you just did. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I didn't spend two years in Outset Island in, uh, in Wind Waker <laughs> by my track record with Zelda games. But yeah, I, I spent... Uh, all my time in Link to the Past as a bunny and then never could figure out how to unbunny in that game. Man, I'm just now realizing how bad I am at Zelda games. I don't want to sidetrack us you know, too much because I, we definitely need to get over to Kristen yeah. and Patty, but I did not know that you were a bunny until last year. <laughs> no way, yeah. I thought you were turned into a pig because if no. you look at it, his eyes, they look like pig nostrils because like, it's just an eight, it's just a 16-bit yeah. sprite. His eyes look like pig nostrils, and then, like, his, his ears, he's pink. Bunnies aren't pink, but pigs sure are, you know? <laughs> Bunnies are white or gray or black, but I totally thought he was a pig that whole time. I was like, why did they turn him into a pig? And like, is he really just kind of, like, some slovenly or, like, selfish person? You would have known better if you got the Nintendo Power comics that came every month. I did get Nintendo Power. Oh, so you just, you didn't read either. No, I read them, and it's I was actually confused as to it. why he was a bunny in that, and he was a pig in the game. I'm like, why is he yeah. a damn pig? But yeah, for the longest time. And then I think, yeah, I, I, but, you know, to your point of me not reading, there probably is an NPC in there in, like, in the game when I replayed it recently. I think somebody calls you Mr. Bunny when you're a <laughs> rabbit. And I was like, oh, never, never noticed that. Never got that one. Yeah. 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 All right. Kristen, your turn. When was, when was the first time you did, um, <laughs> I'll say it differently. Every time I say it, I'll say Ocarina this time. So next time I say it, I'll say Ocarina. When was the first time you played Ocarina of time? It was pretty much after it came out, um, because we got the N64, my brother and myself, um, right away. It was really, Please really tell me exciting. you guys were the N64 kids. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. That would be That's like an awesome thing if face. you were secretly the N64 kid and <laughs> no. you were the little girl. Just protecting no, it, your anonymity. It was that exciting, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't remember all that much about the first playthrough. It was a while ago, obviously. Um, but I was that kid who would sit around and manipulate the controller to make the chromatic scale on the ocarina so that I could play any song I wanted. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I should have been, you know, doing some side quests. But no, it was fun to play music. And uh, yeah, that game was what introduced me to the instrument itself um, because, of course, it existed before the game and thousands of years before the game. Uh, but no one paid attention to it over here until... You know, Nintendo made this game. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now there are ocarina companies just, you know, down the street. <laughs> That's funny because I, I actually had an ocarina before Ocarina of Time came out. And really? I was like, oh, yeah. I had one before it was cool. You, know? <laughs> you, you, were, a, you were a hipster. I you was were, uh, yeah. Yeah. She was a hipster before yeah. hipsters one, were like, even a hipsters. Years before it came out, yeah. <laughs> I liked ocarinas before they were cool. I was actually going to ask you guys, <laughs> were, you, were you playing instruments at the time? What year was that? <laughs> I think I it was 98. So. I'm pretty sure it was 98. Then yes. Yeah? Yes, I was terrible. <laughs> well, I don't think everybody starts off as awesome. Like, you got to start somewhere. I want to um, know if you were, if either of you were one of the people whose Scarecrow song was overly elaborate and hard to remember because you wanted it to be so, like, perfect. No, mine was the song where you press the arrow buttons in a circle and then, then you really? have to okay. think about it. Mine was just one direction. Seven up, up, times up, in up, a row. or down. Yeah, yeah that was or fine. right, 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 right. Yeah. Because I was too. I wanted it to make something sound cool, and then, like, every time I would try to do it, it would come out like, whoa! You know? And then when you do the scarecrow with play it back, you're like, that's, that's horrible, dude. Let's just go with one note. <laughs> I think mine was elaborate. But I remember having the player's guide and how I forget which one had like the, the fold out with like all the ocarina songs on it and some blank like music paper so you could, you know, write it in. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I think I definitely did that. <laughs> I should like look and see I would pay what it was to be able to hear the music that was that was your your scarecrow's song. <laughs> That was my, another my thing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the whole Scarecrow <laughs> music thing until like years after I finished mm. the game. You know, it was like those extra little tidbits that you couldn't get until you used the Scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never just, realized I when mean, to use it. Yeah. If I saw the Scarecrow, that meant that the fishing hut was nearby and that was more important. So right. Exactly. <laughs> I would go and fish for an hour instead. Because there, there were basically two games. It was Zelda and then fishing, and yes. fishing yeah. was almost more important. <laughs> I, I I tried to do the fishing again because you know I, I replay the game and record it for the this 
the thing. Uh, I had I was horrible at fishing. I don't know how I was good at it when I was a kid. Like I would spend <laughs> hours like getting a bigger and bigger fish, and this time I couldn't catch anything. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I used to be good at this. I didn't know I, I, I that way about the archery games, like the ones <laughs> where you're on horseback. <laughs> Oh, you could gosh. be so good at those. I will say now. that muscle memory never went away, and I like aced it my first yeah. time around. I was like, "Wow, I don't know if I should be proud or ashamed." <laughs> <laughs> well, I I was actually playing it this morning, like killing time before work on the 3ds, and I haven't played it in a long time. But I thought, "Oh, I should play it since we've been working on the music." And I remember exactly where every single thing is. It was like just muscle memory going through it, getting like all the hidden stuff. I'm like, wow, this is really freaky. Like I just remember exactly yeah. Yeah. where everything is. How is it on the 3DS? I, I have not gotten it yet for the 3DS. I haven't played all of it, but I really like it. Um, it yeah, looks I think it's so great. nice. Yeah, it, it's really it looks pretty. like how you remember it in your mind. But, you know, if you actually play it now, you think, oh, it doesn't look as good as I remember. That's a good way know? of putting it, yeah. But, yeah, is the, is um, the, um, so is, it's kind of hard to go back. Is the fairy um, fountain lady still, like, the nastiest thing you've oh, ever yeah. seen? Oh, yeah, scary. Yeah. Like, she, she even, yeah, I, she was, that's a good way to put it, because she even had that really scary laugh, too, when she came out. I was like, no, 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 don't bless me, I'm good. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I've... I can't remember if I I've think she that is. Yeah, she... I don't think they really changed all that much. <laughs> they yeah, showed her well, in the... higher definition. <laughs> yeah. She, like, right from a get-go, I was like, oh, this isn't going to look good in five years, you know, when you when you see her. <laughs> He's here. And they don't... They didn't ch- change the way she looks that much for the the, uh, the upcoming Zelda game. Um, no, but she's less pointy. She is much she's less pointy. Less, <laughs> less Madonna. <laughs> yeah, she's way less Madonna, but she's still in there and she's still wearing, like, basically the same costume. I, I no one will get. I just realized no one will ever get the Madonna reference. I got it, but I'm. I, I I'm appreciate you old. getting that, but I'm, it, I, I, got it. I actually was thinking about it, and I, I wish I was joking, but um, that was one of the first games I played for the 3DS because I didn't really have any games for it. I borrowed it from a friend. I stopped after after Jabu Jabu's belly. I, <laughs> I, I I wish I was kidding. <laughs> but that's when the game gets good. Like really, that we we were actually talking about this before. Yeah. I Water really, Temple. Really... Yeah, that's when the game gets good. <laughs> My favorite music in the entire game is. That's when I would give up usually. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> but I knew it was. I coming. would always get. Well, I would always. I mean, I, I'm really terrible at video games. You know, I always have to have a player's guide. It's it's so sad. But then I always think, well, maybe I'll try Water Temple without the player's guide. Oh. Uh. And I always get to like one key away from the end, and I it's can never key. realize where I went it. wrong. Yeah, and then I just give up. It's like because at that point I can't backtrace and figure out where I went wrong. So, I love that yeah. you, you just used backtrace as a real word, by the way. Um, it's, it's not, not a real word. word. It was made up by that guy in his oh, angry back rant. Track. Is that what I meant to say? Yeah. But I'm backtrace you anyway. Back Any word is a word if you say it enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, Water Temple. But anyway, I was I was gonna say the uh, my favorite music in the whole game, which we we couldn't redo, is has always been um, the Forest Temple, the Spirit Temple. Mm-hmm. Man, that music's really good, and it's creepy, and it's so appropriate for you know what you're doing right there in that setting because it's actually kind of a pretty scary environment. Most horror games aren't as scary as that that dungeon. Yeah, you know, Wall Masters. Yeah. Is- yeah, yeah, the hand there. coming down and getting you, and then the occasional werewolf that'll pop out in front of you and everything like that. It's pretty good. And those ghosts, too, were pretty creepy, you know? I don't know. The, I... Is it, I don't think it's the Shadow Temple. The Under the Well has the oh, boss, the yeah. big yeah. monster with the hands that come out of the ground. Mm-hmm. That's scary. That's nightmares right there. I always thought the Forest Temple was rather peaceful. It was the Shadow Temple I didn't want to go to. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I used to skip Shadow Temple too, <laughs> at first, just to put it off. Oh, I I always did Shadow first so that I could reward myself with Spirit afterward. Mm. Can you sequence break in Ocarina of Time? Just that. That's it. That's the only one you can do. I. Well, Wait, you have to get the boots first. Oh or, yeah, because otherwise to, you can't uh-huh. get out there. You, at you all. have to do the mini like side quest first, and then you can mm-hmm. skip it. I forget. You have to get the Lens of Truth, I think. First. Right. And then you could do Spirit Temple, I, right? Well, and Shadow Temple, yeah. You should play it again, yeah. Yeah, well, you, well, can't, you, like you can't get to the Spirit now. Temple without the lens. Well, that's what I mean, yes. Yeah, so you have to get that first, but you don't have to do Shadow Temple. You can skip it. Right. 
Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell us when we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long time since I've played that far. I'm I, sure I everyone will let us know exactly where we were wrong in this one. <laughs> all, all the time. It's just all going to be like, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what's, uh, what's everybody's favorite uh, Zelda game? Mine, mine's Link to the Past. It always will be Link to the Past. Like, that one was just perfect in like every way when it came out and even now when i play it i'm like this is still great like and 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 it feels like all the other zeldas have been modeled just after link to the past's formula yeah like they're not like zelda 2 and they're not really like zelda 1 you know zelda 1 was like total open world figure everything out for yourself zelda 2 was you know side scrolling but all of them after link to the past feel like they follow the link to the past formula and i feel like mm -hmm. they got it perfect in that game but that's my favorite yeah um, I was and am still very much uh, a fan of Link's Awakening. It was the first one I played. Uh, I even like when I was a kid, when I finally got through it, like the whole storyline with the wind fish and living the dream and like in order to escape, you have to throw away every single thing that matters to you. Um, Pop the whole dream, all your friends, the animal village goes away, Marin, who's the Zelda of that, ga what, that game, goes away. Yeah. And if you do the whole game right, you get that like beautiful ending where the windfish flies away and you get Marin's song uh, with her flying as a seagull because that's what she always wanted to do is fly. And even like as a kid, like a naive kind of like, you know, sarcastic little kid, this this whole notion just like touched me. Like that story just it, it found me in a really real way. No, I, I could I could definitely see that as far as like especially for like Game Boy. I should even just say for any of the systems that yeah. were out. There was like for a, that time, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty touching kind of game. Like the only the only games at the time that were kind of close were maybe Final Fantasy VI, which mm. I think they were right about the same time because the whole Final Fantasy VI, you know, where they destroy the world was yeah. based on the Dark World from Link to the Past. So um mm. You know, there really wasn't much else that was like emotional or even tried to be emotional at the time. So yeah, yeah I think that's that's a good reason to like it. Do you guys have a favorite over here? I'm pointing to both of you using my little <laughs> stylus. You can't see. Uh, but... Yeah, I I always end up naming Majora's Mask as my favorite. Really? It's, it's everything I like about Ocarina of Time except darker. It's got that that storyline is just dark in a way that's been unmatched by any other Zelda game so far, and. Um, just the side quests and the music in particular, it, I, I remember being pr particularly affected by it. Yeah, were you kind of afraid or kind of sad that they didn't re-announce like a Majora's Mask 3DS at I'm, E3 this year? Because I kind of was, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm just sort of hanging that. out, waiting for it. Um, if it happens, it happens. If not, I mean, I have the N64 in my closet, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In and your, your tangle closet. of cords that go along with it, because there's the four controllers, only exactly. one of which work properly. Yep. <laughs> All the sticks are loose. Have... Yeah, they all have that weird white crud that formed on the, on the base <laughs> oh, yeah. of their, their analog sticks. It, yeah. <laughs> God knows what that was. But if we had Phil here today, who's going to be doing the album art, he would tell you like exactly what it was and how to clean it and take it apart. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> what is the crud yeah. on the stick of the <laughs> what, is, what is that nasty crud? Somebody's going to be like, is your dirty hands, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Majora's Mask is like a, a big favorite among a lot of people. But like sales wise, it was always really close to the bottom compared to like almost all Zeldas. Except for and like Zelda 2, I think. Usually I hate... Uh timed missions which is mm -hmm. essentially what the entire game was but it was just done really well and those last six hours are terrifying i gotta admit i never did majora's mask me either i, I started oh, wow. on the n64 and i was like it. i was like done you people i know right? sit down and well, play I have, hey i i have it in my n64 right now do you really it's the, <laughs> yeah it's what's what's in it um because I never finished it. Actually, it's a really sad story. I got through the first three temples, I think, because there are only like four, right? Uh-huh, yeah. And then it was at my parents' house. Like, this is like when I was away at college, and my mom gave away the game to, like, some oh. kid, like, of, no. like, one of her friends. I was like, no, I was still playing that, and so I had to buy another one and start over. And that was about the farthest oh. I'd gotten. 
I, I really love the concept and everything about it, but I find it hard to play personally. But it could be because I'm really bad at games in general. And yeah, the fact that it's timed always made me really nervous. And it was, I don't know, you're that hard bad to, for me games. to stick with it. I know I'm you're that bad, bad at, at games, games, but I'll, I'll tell you this. The timed, the timed <laughs> stuff is the reason why I, too, stopped. I was like, why am I timed in yeah. Zelda game? Done. Mm-hmm. Well, that's also the reason why I really wanted to come out on 3DS, though, because I feel like I would play it more in that format. I might actually finish it because and I would feel will... like I could put it down and it would still not, like, you know. Yeah, it'll look really nice. Just... Yeah. That, and too. Yeah. Again, the, the time thing really isn't a huge deal. I mean, if you take way too much time and you get towards the end of a, a temple and then your three days runs out, it's yes, it's frustrating. Um, but I don't think I ever had that happen. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of good to know, because then maybe it's, it's like timed, but not really, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, it's timed, but they do get... Uh-oh. She broke oh. up a little bit. They literally slow things down, so you can... The time moves at half speed. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like timed stuff with, like, Super Mario levels. Like, it's rare that you don't win in a Super Mario level because you ran out of time. It's more that you, like did something dumb and, and kicked a shell back into your own face or fell down a hole or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Patty, what about you? What was your what was your favorite Zelda game? My favorite is Ocarina, but yeah. it was my first Zelda game, yeah. actually. And, um, yeah, so I don't know how I managed to miss out before that, but, um, yeah, it was the first one I played, and I really fell in love with it. And, yeah, I haven't... I still haven't played... A Link to the Past, though. So really? I feel like, oh. yeah. But I played A Link Between Worlds, and actually, that's gonna be like a pretty close second for me. I just, I really liked it so much. Yeah, but I don't know because I haven't played A Link to the Past, so I, I can't really <laughs> compare it in, in that way. You that but... I need to do Link Between Worlds. Oh, it's so good. You have to. My my wife got me the the Zelda 3DS, and I've been waiting i've been doing too much writing so i haven't had any time to oh. do it but it's like the next thing on my list so i'm, I'm happy to hear you I, say it's so good i'm pretty sure i bought it the day it came out because i was so afraid that like the gold one was gonna like sell out or something like i was irrationally <laughs> afraid <laughs> yeah it was when we were Kristen when we were playing distant worlds remember oh i remember it, that like, now, I, yes. we're in miami and i actually like went out and bought it that day because i was afraid that it was gonna sell out did you guys perform and, together yeah. in the same yeah. show? Yes, we did. In Get Miami. out of here. That's and it was for Distant Worlds, that's too? That's where we uh-huh. met in real life. Right? That yeah. is awesome. Well, we met online before that. And that's, but, yeah. that concert is when we said, oh, wait, you're going to MAGFest? I'm going to MAGFest. <laughs> that right. is awesome. It was right before MAGFest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for people who don't know, that Distant Worlds is the live Final Fantasy performances. Or is it just Final Fantasy, or is it just Noble Uamatsu work? It's just Final Fantasy. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's still awesome. It was. That was fun. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hmm. Far out. Everybody excited for the. I, I got to admit, like, I don't have a Wii U, but after I watched this E3, I was like, hmm. So I guess I got to buy a Wii U now. <laughs> yep. How do I? I like how that. do I make two hundred dollars just appear in my pocket, kind of thing to yeah. to get a Wii U? <laughs> yeah. No. The, the what they showed. It's too early to really, you know call it whether or not it's going to be everything they said it was like zelda skyrim but uh but man it was it was was beautiful like it was yeah it was everything my child the child me wanted yeah which originally was wind waker was everything the child me wanted like cartoon zelda and now i'm like oh god no this is what i've always wanted (laughs) an old man and i'm like ah i need toys so yeah yeah do you do you two own a wii you yet no. no. Um, and I mean, I've I've gone through the process of buying a console for a single game about maybe three times now, <laughs> and I don't want to do it again, but man, it's pretty. But there's, yeah, there's no other way to do it. It's one of those... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. It's one of those circumstances where you sit to yourself and you're like, sure, the game's worth $50 or $60, but is yeah. it worth $260, <laughs> you know? Right. Um... And the reason why I'm saying 200 is because they're selling the refurbs. The refurbs, yeah, mm-hmm. for 200. Which that was what really, I yeah, was really like you know, uh. I, could, I could do this, but maybe I'll wait until it actually comes out. I'll bet they'll sell like a bundled version of the thing. Yeah, you get the gold Wii U. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's telling me that there's a, a problem with the call, but that seems okay so far. 
but uh yeah the wii u i think that was a big move for uh, everybody um hey so just i guess as a teaser um patty and Kristen, what uh what tracks have you guys done for the the show um we're doing five tracks the title screen uh hyrule field the owl theme uh spirit oh, temple <laughs> and song of storms and so what the, the uh, owl actually has a name which i didn't know he had a name but it's like keep a uh kepora gibor i don't know how you pronounce it's it crazy it's crazy long it begins with a k and it ends with an a like, yeah <laughs> yeah i, I say kepora gibor but i don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it so oh well those are the we five call it that owl. <laughs> i've only heard previews i think of three of them and i think kristen said she was still tweaking with them so um I yeah, haven't heard the final two, <laughs> which I'm totally excited about. Um, and then yeah. I have to finish this. I was, but anyway, once that once that's all done, then we send it into Louder. Louder puts it onto their thing, and then when that's all done, then we post it online. So, um, yeah, we're almost done. We're really close to done. Like yeah. super close to done. But. Thanks. It, I, I it feels do... like it's been such a long-term project, <laughs> and we didn't really anticipate it taking this long, but... Um, <laughs> it is what of... it is, you know? I mean... Unexpectedly, but yeah, I mean, it, it is exciting now that the mock-ups are actually sounding, like, almost finished, and it's really coming together, so... Yeah. Yeah, really yeah. excited. <laughs> now I, gotta, I, I promised myself I would do three of these this year, but, you know, since it's June... And we're actually almost halfway <laughs> through June, and I haven't gotten the one out yet. <laughs> I'm be working really hard to get the uh, at least one more done. I, you know, I think the other thing was this was kind of a longer story too, and I was like, oh, I gotta draw some pretty mundane pictures for this one. Um, but some of the the future stories are are shorter. Uh, shoot, there was actually something else I wanted to say about the thing. Trevor, tell us a joke while I think about things. Uh, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I don't know. Ten tickles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was really horrible. <laughs> I, you put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> I love that you actually just like had it right then and there too. <laughs> don't we have any music jokes? I don't know any music jokes. Do you guys know music jokes? I mean, you're um, the musician, like, so why would I know music jokes? jokes? <laughs> Appropriate music jokes. I, I wasn't prepped to have music jokes ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to get this done. Hopefully I get to get the next game done by the holidays. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. The reason why I was like so <laughs> pressed to get all this stuff done was because when E3 declined my application, I was like, what am I going to do this whole E3 week while I'm like <laughs> watching the shows and stuff? So while I was watching shows. I was like drawing the whole time and, and you know, editing stuff down. But uh, yeah, so that is the bonus of me not going to E3 was I got other stuff done. Speaking of YouTube channels, Patty has a YouTube ah. channel where she does <laughs> video game music and she also has a YouTube channel where she does non-video game music. Uh, if you click on her head, you'll get the video game music channel. Uh, Kristen also does the same thing. Uh, so click on her head and you'll go to her channel. All three of those channels are pretty damn badass, by the way. So um, definitely check those out. Um, Patty, what are you working on now for the channel? You just did one for Final Fantasy 13 3? 13 2. 13 2. 13 2, yeah. What else do you have, uh, do you have yeah. anything else coming up? Yeah, I have. Well, we the most of my channel is like based around quartet videos. Although I'm starting to do other collabs with other YouTube artists, which is fun. Um, but there's usually always string quartet because it's hard for me to track myself so many times. Yeah. Um, so last time we got the quartet together a few weeks ago, we recorded six new covers. So That's awesome. I'll have, I have a few yeah, to work on. So. The Dire Dire Dogs but, um, one is probably my favorite. Oh, yeah. That's a really, like, it's an awesome it's, cover. It really is. It's so fun to do stuff with harp. Um, my harpist is pretty awesome, and I'm so glad that she's like willing to do this stuff. None of my friends are really into video games, so I'm, I'm really lucky that they are just donating their time to do this stuff for me. So, Question about the pretty... harpist. Does she just bring mm -hmm. the harp over to your house, or do you record it there? Because I, I imagine harpists her need like, a yeah. truck or a bus or something. You know? Uh, she has a... 
Oh, I forget. It's a regular car, um, like a hatchback. That, really? That, it's, a, it's a harp friendly car. Yeah, I think it's a Fit, maybe. Um, a, she puts a harp in a Honda Fit? It's like the tiniest car on the road I, next to like... Okay, maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I know it's a hatchback. Um, I'm not good at car models, but um, I mean, she could bring it here. I mean, she has to take it to orchestra gigs and wherever she plays, but my apartment is not like a real recording studio, so there's no advantage to her bringing it to my house. So I go to, I go to her place and bring all my mics and stuff. So. Cool. Cool. That's kind of awesome. I, I figured there'd probably be a website out there for harp friendly cars, like harpist approved cars. This has great, <laughs> you know, collapsible seats in the back for perfect for harps. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the same if you if if you play cello, you you need a, a larger car too, or bass. But yeah. I actually yeah, bought I... my my car because it was cello friendly. So I could fit a cello in it if I have to. I would imagine that harps would be harder though, because there's more strings to knock out a tune. Well, they're always out of tune. I mean, <laughs> you always have to tune. <laughs> like the harps don't stay in tune for like more than five minutes. They're eternally <laughs> out of tune. Yeah. Oh, the woes of musicians uh, that we don't know about. <laughs> Kristen, what about yeah. you? What was what was your latest video? You had an you had an uh, an uh, Aaron video not too long ago, um, which was which was pretty badass. What uh, do you have anything else coming up? Oh, um, I wish I could update my own personal channel more often. I really had fun with the Oren uh, cover. I'd wanted to do that for a long time. Uh, what's been taking up my time recently is I'm part of a trio that's collectively known as Project Estadi, and we do Kingdom Hearts tribute albums. And we're getting ready to release a pretty big um, arrangement album covering several of the games. So I've been doing the orchestrating, the mixing, uh, getting our live players stuff recorded, and yeah <laughs> that is really cool well I'll throw we'll put links for that down there too so cool thanks check that out that's yeah, awesome it's, i didn't it's know it's a that. lot of fun are you excited for the there's kingdom hearts two and a half 2.5 hd remix yes yeah, 2.5 hd i would call two and a half <laughs> 2.5 HD remix. <laughs> <You're psyched. laughs> yeah, I would be more psyched if I had a functioning PS3, um, which I don't. Oh. But it's going to be amazing, and I'm going to be watching everything I can on YouTube. <laughs> it's that electronics uh, reverse Midas touch that you have. Yes. <laughs> Actually, um, no, the, the PS3 was a, a sad story because it was never officially mine. My friend gave oh. it to me and said, if you can get this working, it's yours. And uh, I couldn't. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, PS3s are rough, like, because it's always the heat sink that it burns out inside them, mm -hmm. and you know, unless you're gonna pop it open and solder it, and you know, mm -hmm. even then, your your chances of it fixing are are pretty slim to none. Yeah, so I've had to, you know, go to friends' houses and borrow theirs to play games I wanted to play. It works. But it's on PS3, right? Yes. This new one, yes. The, I wonder if. I wonder if you're going to be able to play it through the like the Sony TV thing that they're going to be coming out that ninety nine dollar unit that you can just. Like, I'm not sure. Cause like, isn't that going to be their thing where you can stream PS3 games through it? I don't know. I'm probably making up some product that doesn't even exist that people. I'll can, look like, more into it, it when the PS4 is something I'm going to have to buy. <laughs> okay. Have to buy. <laughs> it's true. I need one. What other games do you I, need I a PS4 for? Oh, well, Kingdom Hearts 3, of course. Oh, right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Forgot about that. I didn't I didn't think I needed either one until E3 this year, and now <laughs> All of the consoles. Uh, E3 I is made all the consoles for that. It's like it's shiny horrible. metal fever just, you know, transmitted to everybody. In, in, it's terrible, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, here I was, I was like, I don't need a Wii. I you, I don't need a Wii U, I don't need a Wii U. And now I came out of that, I was like, son. I bought a GameCube for Twilight Princess, and then they went and made it for the Wii, so I didn't even need the GameCube. <laughs> but at the time, you were probably able to find a GameCube for like 25 bucks. I remember walking into a, a, a electronics boutique or GameStop or whatever, and they literally just had them lined up like lunchboxes, even with the lunchbox like handles sticking up, and yep. they just had like stickies <laughs> for $25 for each GameCube. I almost got one. I should have gotten one. But, yeah. Trevor! If we go sure. down your head, we're going to be going... Well, I don't even know if I can do external links to anywhere else, but uh, you worked on The Last Memory. Yes. Um, 
I, I have two fantasy books out right now. Um, the first one is The Last Memory. I have it right here. Uh, you can get it on Amazon.com uh, in Kindle format or in paperback. By the time this video airs uh, from June 17th to June 21st, um, the first book will be free for Kindle users if they want to just download it straight. Uh, if you download it, leave me um, a review on Amazon. It always helps. And then I have a second one, The Lost Memory, which is the sequel, and a third one coming out uh, probably around the end of August. So there you go. You watch the show this long and you get a free damn book. Look, free book. You listen to me talk for a while. That's what you get. Uh, you can also go to ttfalkner.com to get some more information on the books that I'm releasing and some short stories and stuff like that. And uh, facebook.com slash lastmemorybook will take you to the Facebook page. Awesome. And I'm going to do my best to have all the links for everything below here. So even if it's not a face clickable kind of thing, all the, the information should be there for people to want to find out. Uh, one final plug, because he's not here, he couldn't make it. But um, Phil, who is uh, an, an amazing animator, he is actually doing the cover for the album that we're going to be having on uh, on louder um and i've seen drafts of it and it looks really cool i i asked like him because he's a good artist whereas if i drew it it would just look like the crappy drawings that appear <laughs> here in, in the show and nobody wants that i don't want that i i wanted you know them to look cool with like link while they're playing their instruments and otherwise you know anyway I, i'll have I'm a pretty link to fond of the picture of of us, you know, sitting on the tree stump playing our I instrument. love that picture. That actually turned out pretty good. I was, I was actually happy with myself with yeah. that one. But, like, what he showed me, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do that. Like, it looks cool. So I, I will be very psyched when that comes out. But um, honestly, guys, I, all of you, thank you very much for, for all the help um, getting it this far. Because, like, this, it went from a project where it was like, you know, here, I'm just going to write the story, get it done, and get it out. And now it's actually, because Nintendo and, and Google were kind of pains you know just before the holiday season um sure they might have been pains but i think this has kind of grown into a much cooler project and i and i think the final product is going to be a thousand times better than than what i could have done by myself um and so seriously thank you very much and uh i really appreciate it and i wish i could pay you all money <laughs> <laughs> uh. so Buy their stuff, everybody. Go. <laughs> Go outside, cut some grass, break some pottery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then mail them their rupee, your rupees. Do it. <laughs> um, yeah, that ought to do it. 25 games for my son. The episode about um, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And one other unnamed game uh, should be releasing very shortly. Thank you to all the fans out there who have been crazy patient with me. Uh, I get your emails all the time and your your notices up on YouTube and Facebook asking me when it's going to happen. It's going to happen really soon. So uh, get excited. And then, uh, then I get started on the next one, which will happen. I'm not even going to say soon, but I'm shooting for... <laughs> I'm shooting for the end of the summer. It'll <laughs> maybe be out by Christmas, but that's my goal. It's good to have goals, right? Right. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>